Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, Rob and Mel are going to be playing Dawn of Peacemakers, continuing our campaign. We're in episode 8, nine? eight scenario 9. Oh, episode 8, scenario 9. We put two yes. scenarios in the same episode yesterday, so that's thrown us completely off. <laughs> uh, but we're going on with the next one, that's all that you need to know. Uh, but spoiler warning, of course. This will be unlocking story stuff, might see new units, new cards, new abilities, new rules... Uh, if you don't want to know this stuff, stop watching now. If you're curious about this game at all and haven't seen anything about it, I recommend going to the playlist section on our YouTube page at Rob's Gaming Table and hitting up episode one of the series. We're going to be continuing on all the way through to uh, campaign number 12. Uh, so I guess episode 11 if we keep going at the rate we're going. Uh, I've scheduled all the way through to episode 11. So if you're curious about catching us live in the future and you're watching this later or you're watching this now live, uh, you can set reminders already. Go to youtube.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. You'll see all our upcoming live streams. You can set reminders, including our 24-hour live stream coming up this weekend. If you're watching this around when it was posted, uh, thanks to our Patreons for helping us hit another goal. Uh, we are doing a 24-hour live stream. So if you want to come and join us, set the reminder for that and stop by, say hi, and uh, we'll be playing some games all day and all night. So that should be fun. Anyways, let's get to it here. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, we want to do, uh, we're going to talk about, well, I guess we don't need to go to the FAQ yet. Let's go to the table. Okay. Now back to your regular schedule for you. Just a short commercial break. Hello, <laughs> Shane. Hello, Janet. Hello, just the jot. How's it going? All right. Here's scenario nine. Set up from here. Okay. okay. Uh, we saw the next card from our campaign deck. That we are to read when we're setting up scenario 9. Uh, it unlocks two new unit cards. The Macaw Defenders and Chieftain. I'm not even going to try. Uh, 18 task cards. It's six assault cards for each faction. Which we're going to have a taste of here in this scenario. So that's what we got new. These I'll use the bookmark. Oh, yep, yep. Uh, so. Let's read some story. Letter from... Ma oh, sorry. This is actually called Scenario 9, Might of the Empire. Uh, letter from Marin. September 4th, 3329. Adventurers, time is of the essence. The combined attack of the bears and the ocelots has awakened the beast. The Macaw Empire will not tolerate the insolence any longer. They have brought in significant reinforcements from other fronts. The recent battles have produced hardened veterans and experienced leaders to command them. They are now ready to display their military... Full, military's full might and intend to use it only once. Until now, the new division has only encountered minor resistance and has defeated it easily. The bears are on the run, and chances are that if they are caught, the rest of the area will fall into macaw talons. Through my contacts, I've discovered that the bears briefly considered fighting the macaw army head-on. Whether it was to make up for them previously relying on dishonorable tactics or just an idea of a loud-mouthed fool, I don't know. Fortunately, they've chosen to retreat and wait for a better opportunity. I believe the Ocelots will be joining them in aiding their withdrawal. Do what you can to help the bears escape. Their survival is crucial if we are to end this war favorably. So the scenario estimated playing time is 80 to 120 minutes. So this will be one of the longer ones, I assume, uh, for these playthroughs. Hello, Adam. Um... So, yes. Uh, then, setup adjustments. Fortifications. Commander Kirachuka brings his expertise on utilizing fortifications into the battlefield. So, we had this leader last time. He's from the Macaws. Uh, it says, if he survived, like if he's alive, place one fortification token on the game board for each unit from the Blue Army's circle-based group. Spaces with one unit will have one fortification. Spaces with two units will have two. So, circle here. Circle here. These two guys get fortifications. And the leader in the back here gets fortification. Okay? Okay. So that's the guy who moves them along. So this leader has protective leader ability. When his group moves, according to their order, each unit in this group moves one fortification with them if there are any. So they got fortifications now. Because we kept him alive, we got a little bonus, I guess. Maybe. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's not. Uh, I don't <laughs> know. Don't we'll know find yet. out. We'll find out. Special scenario rules. Escaping. The bears devised a simple plan to lose the macaws at the Ahotia crossing. They would cross the bridges and then burn them. Otherwise, the macaws would eventually catch up to them. The yellow army's units have two movement targets over the bridges. Okay? So they have targets right here where these, where these warning signs are, these two bridges. 
Bears, okay. bears are all here in the yellow. For those who, for those who are new. Okay. The yellow army's units have two movement targets over the bridges. When they try to perform a move task on those spaces, okay, instead of not moving at all, they're removed from the game board. Same as that one time when we had the guys running to the bridges. Yep. Units removed from the game board this way are still considered to be in play. They also keep their damage tokens. However, remove a group's task cards as usual if there are none of them on the game board. Okay. okay. Yep. So bears are going this way. Ocelots are going this way. Macaws are going this way. Uh -oh. Okay. Everybody's going the same way. This is kind of like one of those chase ones we've had before. We've seen this similar thing before. Uh, the ocelots are up here. They are going to help these guys escape. The ocelots have no move tasks in their deck right now. Uh, and I don't think we'll have any, but there is an event. So uh, right here, I'll read that in a sec. Uh, so assault. We get a new task card. So the assault cards I talked about, we unlocked here. Uh, six of each for each faction. They are right here. Uh, these task cards, okay. Mm -hmm. The blue uh, macaws are going to get all of them. The others are going to just leave the game and be used later. But just to let you know, every faction gets some. So obviously that could be used probably in skirmish mode. We may see those in a future campaign uh, episode. Um, but there's two, just like every other task card, two for each uh, base. Okay, star, cog, and circle. Uh, how these work, I'll read a little story first actually. Many leaders have skills, or many leaders' skills Im have improved during the war, especially their ability to organize successful assaults. It is a tiring maneuver though, and not used very often. Okay, a new assault task card lets armies, uh, army units move and attack on the same round. So it's like two task cards in one. Oh. When an assault card is drawn during the army phase, the active group will perform a move and a strike task at their appropriate times. Apply the order's plot, so the card, the, the plot card to the left of it, uh, the first part of the order, you'll apply it to both. So you're pretending like there's two task cards, you, you resolve a move task, use the ploy with it, and then resolve uh, an attack task, resolve the ploy with it. So that could make things like double move and, and er, double move and double attack and stuff like that. Wow. Uh, but it says here, uh, apply the orders, ploy to both. If assault is combined with revoked ploy, revoked just gets resolved once. So the revoked, okay. we don't lose two motivation. That's the only one that says no. It's, it'd be too crazy. Assault cards are resolved twice. First with the move task, then with the strike task. After fully resolving an assault task, it is removed from play. So that's why they say they're tiring. They're not used very often. They're just like, they're going to, these macaws have six of them going in their deck right now. No other factions getting them right now. And it's going to get a little nuts. Yeah. So if you want to shuffle uh, up all those, because I put the cards that are needed in there. I did a quick shuffle. Oh, sure. But I, I wasn't sure how many task cards were actually going in the decks for each faction. I should have looked. No, but I didn't fine. realize it was only the macaws are uh, going to get them. So I'll shuffle that in. So macaws are going to be coming fast, very fast and very hard. They're going to, they're going to come at those bears, trying to kill them very quickly. And we need to stop them. And we'll show you what cards are in the other decks. And see how the bears, if they if they have a lot of move or not. Okay. Let's see. And both sides are starting at nine motivation. Okay. Nine motivation. Um, we'll go over the units in a sec. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? The Macaw Defender. So the Macaw Soldiers have a little upgrade. Uh, the new units actually have no defense, but they get plus one defense for every other allied Macaw Defenders, so the same unit type, on or in adjacent spaces. So they still have three attack, two range, five health, but they could have a defense if there's units nearby or on their space. So these three of them are right here lined up. They each have plus two defense right now because this what these two are on a space together and they have one next door, so they're each... Kind of buffing each other up. So as you start breaking them down, uh, they become easier to take. Okay. All right. Uh, so it says, The current war has produced stalwart veterans capable of fully relying on their comrades. They form fearsome and durable formations that can offer protection to nearby units. Scarlet Macaws have, a new, Maca or have new Macaw defenders. And I read the, that part already. So Chief X here, uh, an important link between the two allies. Chieftain X, I uh, can't pronounce it, so I'm not going to try, uh, has close ties to Os Os Olakam. <laughs> she is also known for her foresight where she preemptively fortifies locations she thinks the enemy will target. She is even correct on occasion. 
<laughs> Ocelot's new leader, Chieftain X, randomly places fortifications on spaces containing allied units. So okay. how she works, she's crazy, like that other dancing one that we let die. Uh, she does have normal leader stats, but she has foreseeing leader. After her group has performed an order, roll the die. Find the most distant allied unit. Prioritize units from the rolled group. Break ties using a tar attack targeting rules. Place one fortification on that unit's space. So he's just randomly throwing out fortifications. So the cool part is she's up here, or he. I'm not sure. Uh, did I read he or she? Usually it tells you. Oh, her. It's a she. Uh, she could throw down fortifications here. These guys are the furthest allied unit right now. Uh, but if there was a tie, I think, for on that space or distance, you would choose based on the die roll. Yeah, just most distant, but prioritize units from the rolled group. So she's going to be throwing fortifications somehow all the way across the river uh, over to this guy. So that's over there. That's interesting. Oh. Okay. Uh, we have an event. The scenario's event takes place immediately if any yellow unit moves on the bridge tile. And that's why I've placed these two markers here to remind us. As soon as a yellow unit drops there, we need to stop what we're doing and read the next page, which I haven't seen yet. We lose the scenario if at least one side has zero motivation. Okay. Same, same loss condition we usually see. We win the scenario if there's no yellow units on the game board and at least one of them has escaped. So we can let a whole bunch die, but we one have to let some escape. escape. Yes. Uh, and then you win if both sides are ready, ready to withdraw. So you can win both those situations. We also have a co-op agenda. Okay, for scenario nine. Buying time. It's going to be tough stunt to pull off, but seriously wounding all the commanders could bring the fighting to a halt. Hopefully long enough for you to come up with another plan. In order for you to win the game, the following condition must be met in addition to fulfilling a common victory condition. At the end of the game, each leader on the game board must be injured. So we can let this yellow one escape, no problem. He won't be on the game board. Right. And if any of these die, and remember, it's the last leader on a side that, that dies. So there's two leaders on this side, two leaders on this side. That drops the motivation down. So when the last leader dies or the last unit is gone, uh, yeah, then they drop. I believe that's how it's said. But so I think when this guy leaves the board, we're okay. Yeah, for, the re for this side, yes. Yeah, so somehow we have to have this guy get injured, I guess. Yep. Or die. Yep. And yeah. And then the other side as well. At the end of the game, each leader on the game board must be injured. So injured is half half life left, basically, half their damage taken away or more. Uh, so that's what injured is. So not one damage, not not dead. They need to have like between uh, half and full half and full damage. Mm -hmm. And there's two full. leaders on the other side that two we have leaders, to... yes. Wow. So, like I said, we have the leader up here, uh, the circle base one that moves the fortifications forward with his group. Uh, then we have the other leader that does the whole extra movement, uh, Chaliana. Restless leader, when it moves according to a move task, all allied units from different groups that are on the same or adjacent spaces move one space in the same direction. So, this leader back here is going to be bringing like a lot of them with her, and those move tasks plus assault tasks are going to get nuts. Yeah. And then we have. The assassins, we have three assassins on this side, the flying ones, uh, that are going to have mobile. So they're going to move twice each time they move. And yes, that does count on the assault. And uh, they are seekers. So they are going to be targeting opposing uh, uh, leaders. We got to remember that. Yep. Uh, on your side, so the ocelots have two hunters. Uh, we're familiar with hunters. They're the trophy collectors. Three range, three attack. Uh, when the Ocelot Hunters attack, they prioritize enemy leaders. This ability takes priority over enemy units' proximity. So these two Ocelot Hunters are going to help us hopefully damage these guys to injure them. Hopefully, yep. And I assume these Seekers are going to help us. These mobile Assassins are going to be the ones to help damage this guy and this guy. Hopefully. So we can't let those units all just get wiped. Because I feel like those are the ones who are going to do the work for us. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I think. I don't know. Those are the ones that are for sure targeting leaders. The yeah. other ones, we can't guarantee that. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, oh, the bears. Uh, so we have uh, in the cog group here, we have a charger and a sentinel. Also in the circle group, same thing. Then we have a charger uh, back here with the leader. And this is the leader uh, that when it performs a cover task, she and each allied unit get plus two defense. So even these ocelots are allied, right? Yep. So they will get plus two defense also when she does a cover task. So how many cover tasks can she do? Two. 
Okay. There's two cover tasks in that, that group's deck here. Uh, you guys can see. Yeah. So they are... The bears, they're running. They are retreating. They are barely attacking. They only have three strike cards in their whole deck, so don't expect them to be doing a lot of damage. And the cover is only on that one. Uh, they only have two in the whole deck. Okay. So we're going to see just a lot of move from them. But everything else, like no fortifies, no assaults. Okay. And then for the ocelots, they are not moving at all. So those three ocelots at the top, they're just going to chill there. They might cover. They might fortify. But they're definitely got lots of strike. They're ready to strike. Okay. There's only two, two group types. Uh, for the uh, macaws... They are doing a little move, but remember they have assaults. So that's like they have eight, nine, nine moves in their deck, kind of, if you think about it like that, until they start removing these. Barely attacking, you say. <laughs> Barely attacking. <laughs> uh, but they have lots of strike. So they have strike wow. and move in the assaults, and then they got a little bit of cover and a little bit of fortify here. But most of the time they're moving and attacking. Moving or attacking or moving and attacking. Like it's just, that's insane. Usually I'm very optimistic about them, and this one I'm kind of feeling like, oh, I don't know. Well, we're okay. Remember, we need, uh, where is it? Our agenda, our group agenda, we need all the yellows to be gone. So as long as we keep, like, say, the leader and get him off the board, we've achieved. We've kept the leader alive, which is good. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got him off the board. The only thing is he adds defense. So if he, she or he is gone, she, uh, then we don't have that extra bonus when cover is drawn. But then again... We'll see what's happening. But uh, we're okay if a bunch of these bears die. We just need to get at least one off the board. And we need all of them to be gone based on our co-op agenda. No, no, not our co-op agenda. Sorry. We just need all the leaders to be injured. It, yeah, is, it is one of the win conditions is have all the yellow units gone and at least one of them escape. So we don't need that if we can get them to both sides to withdraw. But okay. again, but we, can't, be tough. we can't let any of that happen to end the game before, in, before we have all leaders having at least uh, four... Four, four yeah. damage on them. They're all at eight health. And they all have a defense. And then this one's like way more defensive. But this one this we want... This one hopefully will yeah, have escape. Yeah, we want the bear to escape so we don't have to worry about the whole injured math because she's very defensive and, and has a whole cover thing. Right. But this, this ocelot up here we want to get hit, by, hit with four. And uh, we need to get these two leaders hit with four at least. But if one dies, one Which dies. Which is kind of scary because I feel like those assassins are going to take things out as they just kind of fly through. And hopefully they don't take uh, everything we'll see. out they, of there. They get shot down pretty quick too because they're only four health. Yeah. Okay. And there's lots of stealth here. So we have we have forest. We have four forests here okay. uh, to add stealth. Let me just change the focus spot there. Oh, yeah. That's more in focus. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, we have the four forests here for stealth. So remember, only a unit can be attacked who's in the in the forest if they're on the, the opposing unit is on or adjacent. Uh, we have these uh, lakes or sorry rivers coming from the fountains that all give plus one uh, kind of like pl plus one damage to the unit sitting there. Mm -hmm. It's not minus one defense. I keep calling it that, but it's actually like plus one to the offense coming at them. Um, and other than that. We have this uh, bonus we got last time for winning, right? Yep. Uh, each adventurer may move up to four fortifications from a spaces adjacent to them uh, to, to the space they're on. So we can pull fortifications. Each adventurer. So as soon as one time use. Each, yeah. Each? Well, each adventurer. Each adventurer may move. Yeah, but I think it's like the turn we pop it, we both have like that round to do this. Okay. Each okay. adventurer may move up to four fortifications from spaces adjacent to them to the space they're on. Okay. So it's like if we misplace a bunch or guys leave the spot and we're like, oh, there's all these fortifications sitting in the middle of nowhere. Let's try to get them moved if we can. Yeah. To okay. cover cover somebody's butt and okay. keep them alive. But yeah, I, I don't know where that should be directed. I don't know if that should be directed at keeping this guy alive till he gets off the board. Or if some of these guys get off the board, is that is that meant to keep these guys going? Is it meant to pop onto leaders and keep them from getting killed and no just idea. get injured? But that's an option. Okay. Well, we'll watch for a time that that might come in handy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. Okay. okay. Do not flip more pages until either the game end condition is met or any yellow unit has moved on a bridge tile. Yeah, and I think this card here says... Uh, do not draw more cards until you have either reached the event or game end condition is oh. met in scenario nine. So. so the event is having us draw more cards. 
What could it be? I don't know. It could be more units. New different types of units coming on the board. It could be another leader. Like reinforcements. Yeah, it could be reinforcements. It could be another leader. It could be. I don't know. It could be new cards like that go in these guys' decks to even it out. I, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I'm, but I'm interested. I feel like we're going to get to the bridge fast with the bears because they, yeah, with their moves. Uh, we'll see. Okay. But these guys might be on them and, and ripping, them a pe ripping them to pieces. That's true. And we're starting right here in this forest. So we're kind of in the middle. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we need to help those bears get out without uh, hitting revokes all the time on their moves is important, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe getting their moves to the top. We need to get these guys revoking their moves and their assaults would be awesome. Their assaults, yeah. Hello, Dragon Shadow. Long hello. time we'll see. How you been? <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so we will uh, try to get their assault cards. Uh, those need to be nerfed. Okay, so do you want to... But they leave once they draw, but there's six. But the, yeah, that's a lot. Six times they could hit it. Plus all the normal moves that they have and then yes. all the moving each other around. Yep. And that's a nightmare. Do you, did you shuffle that uh, resource deck? Uh, yes, I did. But let me just see what we have to work with. Okay. Two cards, two cards. Okay. Oh, I got a friendly guide to start. Uh, Lost Missive and Food Poisoning. So discarding some of those cards might be good, but that doesn't permanently get rid of them. Friendly guide and natural materials so I can throw some fortifications down. Hello, Buell. Okay. Or I can move some people around. Okay, uh, uh, I did want to look at one thing. Sorry, I forgot. I just remembered uh, the FAQ. Uh, the FAQ here, uh, scenario nine. How does the assault task interact with move abilities such as twin ploy, mobile keyword, and commander Chaliana? Assault task is treated as a move task and a strike task with their appropriate timings. Twin assault results in units first moving twice, then striking twice. Mobile units move one additional space Mobile units move one additional space, and Commander Chaliana's ability triggers during the move part as well. Okay, so we're really going to have to go slowly on this to make sure that we have all, all those down. You don't forget something. Yeah, I hope so. We'll see. All right. I think I can Dirt. move. Can we see this? Let's see. Yes, we can. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. So do you want to roll for first? You're odd and Yeah, even. I'm odd. That's correct. Even. Oh, I'm you're first, first today. Great. Okay. Okay. So. Hmm. I think I'm going to start by placing two fortifications <laughs> on a space with a unit. That space is the question. I'm kind of debating this space. Mm, that's the space I would vote for. Yeah, if, if that's what you would vote for, and that yeah, was my first instinct. Yeah, seeker then. guys, and then eventually this one yeah. to keep that hero from getting wiped. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to hold friendly guide because I may want to pull this guy along, but I just need some movement points first for that. So the Meeple Monkey is back. Hello, hello. I can't stick around as I don't want to get spoiled. You've sold me on this game, and it's in the oh, mail. That's nice. So awesome. You found a copy? That's awesome. Wow. Uh, I just want to say you guys rock. Good luck. Thank, oh, you. thank you so much. Thank you good so luck much. With your playthrough. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. Uh, I will end my turn by just doing those that, and I will draw two cards. Oh no, Dragon Tower. Uh, there's no dice in this game. Uh, well, just I guess it's upstairs. I guess just that. Yeah. <laughs> Every time Every we just time we roll put this. a giant Dragon Tower on, just to roll the one die. <laughs> mm. All right. I mean, we can do it. No, nope, no Dragon Tower in this one. <laughs> Doesn't really fit the theme too much, I don't think. We, ha we haven't seen dragons in here. No, not yet. This is this is too realistic. It's not like there's no dragons in this world. This is like real life more, you know. This is like as real as it gets. Parrot, parrot humans, parrot or what do they call? <laughs> what do they call like uh, uh, human like? Uh, I forget what the word is. But when an anthropomorphic is that the word? Anthropomorphic. Parrots, bears, and, and ocelots. Doesn't get more real than that. All right. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. <laughs> I think if that's the word, but I might be wrong. And I'm, I apologize if that means something very wrong. All right. Uh, it's you. Food poisoning, you say? Yeah, but who do you start by food poisoning? I don't know. It's tough. 
tough, tough. I feel like I will just pass on the first turn. Uh, and I'm just going to toss the food poisoning, draw a new card, look out, and then draw two to end my turn. Get a lookout and a local contract. So I can look at the top of a deck and kind of see maybe where I want to go. I can discard with Lost Missive. I can stealth. Stealthing yeah, uh, might be good. really helpful. All right. But either way, I got some moves, some influence in case it's needed. That's going to end it. Uh, we're good? Yep. So the Macaws are going to evasive cover, actually, for the, the cog bases. So they're going to get an extra two defense. And then after the task, they are going to move backward one space. Uh, which they, oh. oh, a couple of them can. Oh, it's only these two are the cog base. Yep. So one of them can move back. Yep. Not a big deal. Okay, for red, we're going to do a surprise fortify on the star. So if you want to roll the die, we'll uh, see. We'll do that if you can just fast. reveal the next one first. Yeah. We'll do it in when it goes, actually. Uh, or no, it's, it well, needs it has a speed. To, yeah, yeah, it needs sorry. a speed to know. Okay, uh, go ahead. And then, sorry, we have a piercing move for the star bases. So that doesn't really... The so piercing each unit part. in this group ignores up to two fortification. Nobody's fighting, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, so let's find out the speed on this one. Yep. Uh, four. Four is slow. So slow. it's a slow fortify. Normal and normal. Uh, so this guy, the bear's first. Okay, so the piercing move. So star base is going to move. So he is going to move one, and he is going to move one. Okay. Uh, let's just make sure uh, mm -hmm. when he covers, so we're good with that. Nope, that's good. Okay. Okay, so that's done. Uh, and then I'll go slow. here, yeah. normal cover, uh, and then the uh, evasive. So we said just this one is going back a space. This one can't go back. Okay, and then we have a fortify for the uh, star bases up there for the red. Each unit in the star group places one fortification on their space. Yes. Okay, and she's the leader here. <laughs> okay, so after her group has performed an order, roll the die and find the most distant allied unit. Play, uh, place one fortification. So we got the cog bases, but let's check... I still think one, two, three, four versus one, two, three. Yep. So it's this gets a fortification in this space. Yep. I like it. Okay, that's that. Uh, and this doesn't do anything. Okay, perfect. Got to roll die. I need a tower. Yep. <laughs> it was solid, sorry. Okay. One sec. What? One second. Be right back. <laughs> All right, we're back. Okay. Uh, it's you. It's me? Yeah. I'm first? Yeah. Okay. So one second. I, ha I have a delivery coming from <laughs> from upstairs here. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea. All right. So so now we're ready. In case in case we need in case we need to roll a die, we'll get a dice tower that's like bigger than the game board and we'll ro we'll roll it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Janet knew. It. Janet knew what I was doing. <laughs> I haven't used it yet, so I'm excited. <laughs> all okay. right. Sell you. Uh, yes. So. <laughs> now we have a game being played. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> it just got serious. All right. Okay. Uh, we just didn't want to holler in the mic. Yeah, upstairs. yeah. Upstairs. <laughs> like, I was about to yell, and I was like, oh, no, wait. Uh, uh, that would be too bad. If I heard her up there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have no companions. I feel like I want to go mess with the birds. Okay. I yeah, I'm not like. sure who to... I know. I kind of want to go but to the I, bears. I want, I want to try to slow them down, mess up their stuff, stop this leader from moving, stop them from assaulting. Do you think we want one of these events or the event to trigger yes. earlier than later? Yes. Okay. So I might just try to friendly guide Yeah, yeah. Them. Get one, them over there. One, two, three, four. I don't think... I can't do it yet, but I can start the movement process yeah, yeah. that way. Because I only have... I don't know. Uh, nope, that's okay. I need to get that card from you. Uh... That's okay. Okay, so I would need one, 
to like at least three to get in there. Although I have the stealths. Maybe I need to stick with these guys. Or maybe we both stick with them. No. No? No. Nope. These guys need to be messed with. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to... One, two, one, two, three. Do you want me to go mess with them and forget about friendly guide? No. No? That's okay. Okay. I mean, you could friendly guide, like, once this guy moves forward, move him back, keep him away from the rest of the group, but uh, I can also try that eventually if I draw into that. So I'm going to use three move. Uh, one, two... Yes, three. I'm going with these two guys in the front. Okay. Uh, let me. I guess I will uh, look. I'll use the influence action to look at one. Oh, I found an assault with oh. the star bases. So that involves this guy moving the whole army forward. Can you discard it? Yes. So I will just put it back. Play Lost Missive to discard or choose one of your companion units. Discard the top card from its army's order deck. And I'll just discard that assault. I mean, we could just have another one coming, but it, if but it's it, hopefully it's not this group, right? Because that guy does the whole move thing, right? Um, slows him down a bit, and I think I will keep this card. No, I will toss this card. No, I can't do that unless I don't take a turn. Mm -hmm. Yes, so okay. I will just keep that card. Draw two. Encouraging words, natural materials, so some fortification to any That's unit. That's good. And then I can give someone guard, which might help might with have, the leader getting attacked, but I, that's kind of far away, I think. All right, go ahead. Okay, so I am going to use two move. One, two, and then I'll use one more move. To move here, and then I will end my turn and hopefully get some movement on. Two for my cards. Next yes. There we go. Oh, there we go. Distraction's good for that. Okay. And then I also got some more fortification that I can place down if we need. Great. Okay. That's me. Uh, Ready? So yeah, I guess. Uh, so it's an evasive strike by the circles from the macaws. Luckily, it wasn't the assault because they would have moved and moved and mm. with the evasive, they would have moved first and then moved again. No, no, but no. No? They would move first. She would bring people with. The macaw assassins would move twice. But then they would all move back. And then I think... And this is only move task, yeah, so not evasive. Oh, so she wouldn't bring them back. They would, she would go back with her group. And then they would assault from where they are, whoever is in her group. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. It wouldn't be as bad, actually. Okay. So we have a regular cover for the red units with the cog bases and yellow units are going to revoke their strike. Okay, I guess that's okay. All right, so revokes first. Yep, that's so that's happening. Eight. Uh, I have a normal cover. Uh, I have a normal strike, so. Okay, so this is gonna happen first. So this unit is going to have plus two defense. Okay, uh, so circle bases, uh, let me see. It's only when they move. Uh, and they move according to their order. Oh, yeah. So he's going to move those back, I think. All right. So these guys only have two range. So I don't see anyone in range of these little circled units here nope. or this leader. So they are going to evade. So they move back. And then they, they because this is the leader, they are going to uh, take a fortification back with them, each one. Okay. And I will move back and go with them to this spot. Too many things in one spot. house. Yes, <laughs> we're all having a party here. So okay, they I've move got back. I've got them as far back as they'll go. I'm doing my job. I don't okay, know about you. I'm gonna try to get them off the. I don't board. know about yes, you, but yes. I'm doing my job yes. over here. It's nothing to do with random cards that are being drawn. <laughs> it's all me. Uh, but anyways. <laughs> okay, so this is done on this side. You're done on that side. Everything. Everybody moved I back. I think so. It's only the circle guys. Yep. Yep. I think so. Okay, so I am first this round. So I will use distraction for movement points and I will use friendly guide to move one companion, one space. So I have three movement points. I'm going to move him for one here and I'm going to move back there. Uh, I can choose a space 
And place two fortifications. Just has to have a unit there. I'm wondering if this is. A, I feel like this guy's kind of safe. I don't want to put fortification there, but I mean they may need it as they come this way. Uh, let's. Oh, okay. Let's put it. I would recommend something like putting it I like here. I thought about this one because then even yeah, they move into exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. That's let's what I'd recommend, okay. but it's up to you. No, that's, I was thinking that because this now makes me mad that they just moved right out of it the next turn. Yeah, but, but that's, that's, they're on the run. Yeah, okay. And that's why they give us this bonus ability where we can just, you pull can pull up. it if you want. Yeah, I see that. Okay, and I will draw two cards. Okay. All right. All the bears could escape. Mm -hmm. Unless something happens once we trigger this. All right, I'll put two fortifications down, and I'm going to drop them also in the same space. Okay. And then I am going to I think I'm just going to hold there. Yep, I'll hold there. Draw two. Encouraging words, mixed groups. Oh, I can mess with their... So that other guy doesn't do the move, but up mm. the circle bases do. That might be fine. Okay. On to Ready? their orders. Uh, twin change of plans. Uh-oh. Okay, uh -oh. so red is going to do a bold strike. So we will have to roll to find out their uh, attack. But we can do that in a minute. Roll away. <laughs> so you don't even have to do that, right? You just have to. One. Oh, so they're minus. Okay, so the cog base is minus one on their attack. Uh, and the yellow is going to do a sturdy strike also with the cog bases. Okay, so my side's both normal. Uh, so we have a twin strike oh. from the circled units, which can't reach anything. Everyone's so. striking. Okay, I don't. Slow. Slow over so, here, minus one attack, but they can't reach anything, so you don't have to worry about anything okay. going on I over here. I think the cog can't reach anything either. He has a range of three. One, two, three. No, he can't reach anything. And these guys have a range of two. One, nobody can reach anybody. That oh, is useless. You've kept them uh, from fighting so far. Okay. Sit in your own corners. Yeah. Great. There you go. All right. So I will... I'll look at a order task. So it's a fortify from the circles. I am okay with such things. And I will also uh, use another one to look at the other side. Closing. So just before this task, move each unit in this group forward one space. So these are the guys that fortify up. I'm okay with that. Yep, I'm okay with that. That uh, is my turn. Done. Draw two. Go ahead. Ooh, lost missive and carrier pigeon. Okay. I think I'm going to look at the order task deck for the yellows. I'd like to get them move and get him if I can. Okay, so a star strike. That's not helpful. Well, I we want the cogs to move, preferably. Or the cog. Yeah, the star that? strike yeah. does nothing. Yeah. Okay, so we'll look again. We have a star cover. It does this useless. They're not going to get hit right now. Okay. It does drop down. Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, what's this guy do with that? Oh, he, he makes everyone defensive, though. Yeah, he makes everybody defensive. But right now we know that They're these gonna... guys aren't attacking this turn. So maybe next turn. Okay, so I could just uh, do... Here, I can let you have... Uh, here, I'll do carry pigeon. So you can draw another one. Okay, thank you. Oh, we got another star cover. These guys are not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I will play a lookout to give you another one. Thank you. Change of plans. All right. So. Okay, let's get some of those moves. Oh, yeah, that puts the move back in, right? Yeah. So that's good. Okay. Strike. 
from the cogs. Okay. Well. Uh, one more. Are you sure? Yep. Oh, there we go. Okay, we gotta move, but not the. Well, that could trigger the event, which might get things going too. Yep, that's what I'm saying. So to do. let's. Oh, but I don't know. Well, the move is first. Yeah, I just hope it doesn't get revoked. Oh. The odds are not. Very... Okay, look at the next one of that. Are you sure? Yeah. Overwhelming. Ooh, overwhelming. Hmm. So units in this group targeting enemy groups with lower base health gets plus three, but so they're not going to be targeting these cogs. Uh, one, two. Yeah, because are they moving up? You said. Uh, these guys were moving. Uh, what was this again? Twin. No. I mean, uh, not twin. It's the one that moves them forward, closing. Closing, yeah. Which I don't remember what the speed was. Uh, normal. <laughs> uh, normal speed. Okay, this is slow anyway. That's slow? Yes, this would go after. But that's what we want. A slow strike? So see what's happening? Forward. They move forward. Then these two jokers. Can uh, hit them? No, because they're still too far. Oh, this one. No. Nope, still too far, they're right? Too far, yeah. <laughs> so let's just put the move first. And let let actually let so it. move first for stars. Yeah. Then then we'll do a cog strike. Okay. Which maybe we'll hit. Which maybe we'll hit by that point. And then a couple star covers. Sure. I don't know. Yeah. And then a star strike, which may or may not matter. Yeah, I just need to look at it so that I can rem memorize it. Oops, sorry. Yeah, you do whatever you want. Okay, so the move strike cover cover strike. All stars. Move strike cover cover strike. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is me. I will draw two cards. Oh, and you don't have any cards on your turn. Nope. Sorry. Oh, whatever. Oh, friendly guide again. I can. I want. I want to see what's happening with this event. Yeah. Before I start making more, I'm, this is probably the dumbest thing ever. Way I move this, cancel that, and whatever. It's like, whoops. Maybe we wanted them to be over here. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. But I think we'll get their time. Okay. Well, that's me. So we can do this. All right, so closing fortify from the circles. Okay, revoked strike. So that's going to happen in a minute mm. for the reds. And then we know an overwhelming move from, those guys. So from the yellows. So this happens first. Okay, so we're going to lower to seven. Okay, okay then and then I have slow. me over here, normal. Uh, so the circles will move forward and bring a fortification with them. Uh, forward, get out of here. So fortifications. Okay, they have forward, and then this guy moves, takes a fortification, and then they each drop a fortification. So four in this space, and one with the leader. Okay. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. So then the star bases are going to move. This guy will move here, and this guy will move here, and I will move with him. Okay, stop. Okay. Events. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So you can probably move those things off there. Event. Cornered bears. Running for their lives, the spectacled bears were about to reach the bridge when they suddenly heard cracking sounds echoing on the river's surface. Their leader called for a halt quickly, as she already had been expecting the worst. They heard a violent snap. And in the moment, the bridge was reduced to a pair of ropes hanging from a post on the other side of the river, dangling as the current tried to drag them downriver. No doubt the macaws had their own saboteurs tinker with the supports. Mm -hmm. Trapped between the strong current and the advancing macaws, something snapped inside the bears' minds. Boiling rage was rising rapidly inside the normal mellow folk. Suddenly, one of them let out a fearsome roar, soon followed by others. Spit was flying out of their maws as they slowly turned. Blazing eyes directed towards the advancing Macaw army. How much you want to bet they're switching their front line and they're going this way. The bridges are destroyed. Running is no longer an option. The spectacle bears gather their courage and fight back. Replace the two bridge tiles with river tiles with matching shapes. So grab me some river tiles. Now you need a, a, a curved one and a straight. They're all in the bottom of that. Yeah. All right. Uh, adjust the yellow army's front line sign 180 degrees. Woo. A curve like that one? Uh, nope, that's three. That's divided in three. Uh, straight line. So we'll drop that one here. And he's on that space. And then we just need one going from... Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the very last bottom one. All right, sweet. Okay, increase the motivation on the side with the yellow red, and red armies by three. All right, one, two, three. They're at ten. Okay. 
So see what we would have been done there is going like, yeah, let the yellows die. We need to have them die to win. Yeah, who cares? But they haven't. But that's what would have been happening. And that's why I think they're giving us a bump back. Okay. Uh, and then replace the bear charger unit card with the new bear crusher unit card. So grab our next cards from our campaign deck. Let me see this one. What does it unlock? Just the unit. The bear crusher. Alright, the Bear Crusher is an upgraded of their uh, Tier 2 unit. The special unit. He has invading, so they can enter spaces uh, where enemies are. Mm -hmm. And it has devastating dive. When Bear Crushers invade, so when they move into the space with an opposing unit, they immediately gain plus 2 attack for this turn and attack one enemy unit on the space. So even crazier than the Chargers. So get okay, that so guy out of here. Rid of this guy. Oh, I guess and I the stats are all the here. same except for they might get a buff. So this is removed, right? So... Uh, no, no, just replace. Oh, just we replace. may get those oh, guys again. So you never know, I'll right? Just put him with our... I doubt it, but. Okay. No, that's fine. So the Bear Crusher. The Bear Berserkers or Crushers have spent their lives training to invoke the terrifying, raging state at will. Most never reach that level of control and require the right circumstances to unlock their powers. Speckled Bears now have a new Bear Crushers. Their only difference to Bear Chargers is that they temporarily gain plus two offense when they attack after invading. Game end conditions. The escaping victory condition for the Yellow Army is removed. Good thing nobody left. Uh, you lose the scenario of at least one side is zero motivation. You win if both sides are ready to withdraw. So, okay, that's it. Okay, so does this change anything here? At the end of the game, each leader... Okay, so... So we now we need every... this guy to be injured. Oh my we God. can't even sneak him off the board anymore. Oh, my God. This is dumb. We're not going to be able to do this, I doubt it, because this guy keeps getting cover and stuff, but... So, wait, do we... Poison Do we change the signs? I did. Oh, you did? Okay. The yellow is now pointing this way. Okay, red still isn't Red moving. doesn't move. They don't move. They're just here to help. Okay. But we still need this leader to get injured. We need this leader to get injured. We need these okay. two leaders to get injured or die. It's whoever's left on the board. That's okay. one angry Ewok. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> huh. All right. Well, all right. Uh, that was his move. That was a slow move. That was the last thing that in the turn. The last yeah, because these yeah. guys did their move and fortify. This, they this got canceled. Guy, yeah, this guy got canceled, so his ability didn't go. All right, okay. so passing to you. Go ahead. Wow. So now we just have to let them both sides start taking each other out to drop them down to uh, withdraw okay. and let leaders get hurt. Okay. So it sucks so that you move this leader so far out of I'll harm's way. I'll bring him back. I'll bring him back. Yes, he needs to be, she okay. needs to be brought back into, into play. So I have two movement points, and I'll use friendly guide. To move one, so one and two. Where are you going, Bear? Get back <laughs> yeah. over here. Get out of the water. Join okay. The party. Okay. There you thank go. You two very cards. Much. Yes, thank and you. And then uh, my turn, but I have nothing to play, so I'll just do two cards and my turn, and then we draw. All right, we got swift assault. Uh oh. Uh -oh. From the stars, this is gonna get messy. We gotta do this. It, and it, it's fast. Yeah. See, it's a move and a strike. Uh, we gotta do it, and it happens at the appropriate times. So I think if it's fast, and there was someone else had a fast cover, for example, uh, we would have to move with these guys, pause, go to the the group that's covering, come back, and do the fast strike. It's not okay. do us all together, as okay. I thought originally. But now that I'm seeing it, it makes sense. So reds have a reckless change of plan, so I'm just going to do a quick shuffle on that, and I'll give you these two to... All right. Uh, then these guys have a sturdy strike for the bears. Each unit in this army gains plus two... Uh, defense until the end of this round, but that's at normal speed. Okay. And then you attack with units in the cog group. Okay, and we got a star fortify for the reds. So they're going to recklessly fortify. Okay, so normal, normal. So your fast is going to go first. Yep. So star bases, that is just these two units in the back, but this is the whole leader that moves people with. Mm -hmm. And these guys are mobile. So, yeah. How would this work? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Both these leaders are the same distance. So I'm assuming this one is the yep. target for the seekers. Yep. Uh, okay. So one, two for mobile. This guy just goes forward one, but moves uh, this one along with. And because they moved. Yeah, he moved one more. I think he moves one more. Okay. Or is mobile only from the tasks. 
This is, I forget every time. Let's find out. Let's read mobile for a sec just to make sure. Mobile 15. I've probably done this before many times. Some of them say for a task. Some of them say when they move in period. Uh, mobile. After mobile units have performed a move task, they immediately try to move again. Moving for any other reason except a move task does not trigger mobile. Thought so. All right. Okay. So they do not go further. This guy just moves up one. Okay. Did he you was adjacent. want to move with your leader when he moved up? Did you uh, want to move with him? Let me see. Hold on. Move with her in one space in the same direction. So I think these two move up too, right? Because they were adjacent to her? Yeah. Do you think? Uh, could read how it's worded. Uh, when she moves according to her move task, all allied units from different groups that are on the same or adjacent spaces move with her one space in the same direction. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. adjacent to her. But they don't bring, uh, they don't bring fortifications because they're not moving according to their order. Okay, yep, yep. So for that group's order, they're not part of the same group, so that messes with the fortifications. Okay. That's how I think it works, um, but yeah. Yeah. And then did you want to move up too? Uh, yeah. Yes, definitely. Okay. Definitely. Um, okay, so then that... I have a cover. No, no, we're not done here. Oh, sorry. We're still fast, so none of that's fast, right? No. Okay, I need to finish this whole assault. Oh, sorry, I thought you said the cover interrupts. No, I said if there was a fast cover, for example, oh, on see. the yep, board, yep. it would come at the point of a fast cover in this time. But since these are both fast, they beat everything else that isn't fast. Yep. Uh, so... Those units moved. They move people with them. Then we attack with those units, the two star bases, these two guys. So let's do this guy up front. He is going to hit these guys. And he is for five. And the lower ranked one is the shield. Oh, there's a guard. So the guard. Oh, yes. So it and then this five. guy in the back, one, two, three, doesn't have enough range. So he doesn't attack anyone. So the guard is this guy. The guard has one defense and he has five health, so he'll just take four. Four? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. You're good? I think uh, so. So then normal? Oh, then we remove this from play. Yes. Okay, then uh, normal cover. So for the star bases, each unit in the star group places one fortification on their space. So we'll get two fortification. And then um, we have to roll the die and find who, who is going to get a fortification <laughs> from the leader. <laughs> seven. All right. Oh, sorry, that's a circle. Circle's all that we have. Circle, matter. yes. Okay. Circle so, seven. So the farthest, though, is this one. Would you say? Uh, yeah, I definitely yeah. would say. So we're going to put a fortification here from that. For this allied unit, yes. Uh, that's that. Okay, and then the cogs are going to strike. Uh, that's too bad that that didn't go. They would have had two defense, but... Uh, okay, so we have the guard and this charger. So they both just attack for three. Yep, so... Uh, I think it's going to be They're going the this way, space. so yeah, it'll be this. And, and then they're they both go. the same in that space, right? Uh, yep, yeah. both the exact same unit. Okay, so together they combine, we'll hit one guy for six. And then he has uh, two defense, so four gets through, uh, which leaves one health left on whichever one. Uh, let's just do this one up top here. Okay. Well, two guys hanging on by a thread there in the front lines. Okay. Well, I guess it's good, right? Yes. Okay. And that is all for this side. I think we're good. Okay. Here you go. All right. False order. Choose one of your companions. Look at the bottom card of its army's order deck. Either put it on the top or the bottom and carry your pigeon. So the player draw a card, they give you a card. I don't know. What are we trying to do here? I don't know. I kind of feel like it's gotta play out a little bit. Uh, yeah. Except that we know we know the bears are gonna cover next. So 
So we've seen. He revokes. Have we seen here? We need some injuries. It's just one. Two. That's okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I will just let you draw a card, and then you choose to give me a card. Okay. Do you want to draw another one? Sure. <laughs> well, I wouldn't draw it. You would. So you can draw a card, and then choose to give me a card. Mm. That's the reason I want to stop there. No, but if you want some fortification, do you prefer fortification or movement? I don't know. There's lots of fortification over here. I need these leaders to get hit. That's leaders all I know. To get hit. I don't know how this is going to happen. Okay, well, let me give you this, and all then right. you can use it for influence or move whatever you choose. Uh, I don't know. Well, I could just hold for now and reduce range later. They're at 10 over mm -hmm. there? Yeah. They're 9 over here. Okay, so I'll just hold and draw two. And we get local contacts contacts, and emergency care. Uh, your turn. Um, yeah. I'm just going to use one of these to move up a little bit because I don't know what to do right now. Uh, so I'm going to move up here. Uh, and then I'm going to stop there. Okay, distraction and mixed groups. Oh okay. yeah, let's see what they're doing here. So I got a twin assault happening from those circled units up front. They're gonna get minus one attack, and then we're gonna resolve it again. So they're gonna move twice, and then they're gonna attack twice, and then we remove this assault from the game. But their oh. assaults are a little weaker because they're minus one strength, so they're only hanging for two each time. But Okay, so the red again has a revoked change of plans. So I will shuffle that, I'll give you this. Uh, overwhelming cover. So they're going to get some extra attack against units with lower bases, but they're not attacking. They're just covering. Uh, so we're not worried about that part. But it is slow. Slow. Oh, that's oh, so slow. Okay, slow, they're slow too. A slow move. Oh. But that they'll but cover, cover before the attack part. Yes, that's good. So we got to remember that. There's a stop here and then a go there and come back. Okay. Oh, change of plans again. I'm just going <laughs> to draw the next one. And yeah, then... yeah. Shuffle. Okay. Strike is revoked from the stars. And then I'll shuffle this one in. Okay, so the row oak is going to happen first for the red side. They're going to go down to number nine. Okay. Okay. Uh, then the slows, we get a slow move here. Uh, double move from these blue units. So they're going to move, uh, the front ones will move up uh -oh. here. They'll stop because there's units there. This guy's got one health left. This guy moves. They have no fortifications to bring with them. This guy does, though. He'll move up here and bring a fortification with him. And then their leader will bring a fortification up, and he'll hide in the forest here. Uh, and then they move again because it's a twin. So this guy will move up here. This guy can't move. This guy won't move. This leader moves. It's kind of good. Mm -hmm. Harm's way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and now your cover happens. Okay. So star-based units, oh, just these two back here, actually will get plus two this round however mm -hmm. the leader ability it, uh, inspiring leader so when they perform a cover task she and each of her allied units gets plus two in addition so these guys have four these guys have two and defense. these guys have, oh and those guys yep, have two they're all allied well. so they, everybody on the red and, and yellow side has plus two defense and then the stars actually have plus four yes okay so that's the cover and then we can go back to your strike back to the strikes and it's twin strikes okay so uh, so they're all going to, I believe, they don't have any seeker or anything like that. Mm -hmm. They're all going to attack this guard, adding two, four, six, eight attack on the guard and overkilling him. Yeah, so he has a defense of two, three. He only has one health left. He's dead. Okay. So he's gone. Drop okay. them down. Motivation to eight. And this guy's like, oh, God. <laughs> yep. And now we're going to do the second part of that twin strike. Uh, where they're yep. Go ahead. minus one attack. Kay. Or minus, yeah. There's another guard here if they can reach this uh, guy. Yes, they can. Okay. So they will attack that spot with two, four, six, eight. Eight. So we'll remove four fortification. So putting it down to four. He has one. So he is going to take three damage. Excellent. He's not dead. That's good. Um, did actually, you count the plus two defense that I did they not, all have? I did not. So he's only going to take one. Thank you. Because there was four, five, six, seven. 
So he only takes one damage from the eight that came at him. And even that guard up here that had one health left yes. and two bonus, he was fine yes. to die? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because yeah, it was eight. He only had the two cover or the two um, Yeah, defense. and one defense. And one. one so built that was defense, three. three. Yeah, so he still took five damage. Okay. And he yeah, only yeah, needed one yeah, to yeah. die. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, all right, that was your twin strike. And I'll remove it from the game. All right. So, yeah, one circle yeah. and one star. Those are terrible. Yeah, yeah, especially when they're twin. Yeah. Okay. That so is... So we have a nine over here and an eight over there. Okay, we're still, still we're going still down doing, okay. Yeah, we're still going down okay. But remember, we need leaders to be injured, and that's not even happening yet. So yeah, that's that a problem. That is true. That is true. Uh, Buell's just about to mention the action defense, <laughs> yes. We're doing it slow. We're trying to catch because yeah. sometimes we try to go fast, and we're like, yeah, let's just go and do this and do that. And then now look at these text boxes. They're everywhere. And some of these text boxes will like contradict with others, and, and then these the way these combos work out sometimes <laughs> with the leaders, it's it gets insane. Yeah, we're trying really hard this time to yeah to get them. I think we're doing well so far. Okay, I think so. Just getting these leaders, I think that's the problem. How yeah, but then all the stats are different too, and trying to remember who's got what from this card and that ability and yeah. this on the board and fortifications and terrain bonuses and like yeah it's a lot but it's I, fun i did put this on here for myself just so that i would remember rob you need your poison card yeah that's true to get two damage on them but they need to be four and then i worry sometimes poisoning a leader might be too much yeah it might be too much and then they get hit and then they're dead and i'm like oops i don't want to do that i get i get scared but you're right we should poison yeah Worst case, I can poison them and heal them if we need yeah that's why i like to hold <laughs> that just in case it gets to that point where uh oh they may die yeah yeah that's true but you yeah. might not have a chance to save them I if they go like too far. I feel like we saw all the poison in the beginning. I feel like we yeah, got to shuffle so through too. to get the poison cards back. Yeah. Might be too late. Well, I think we still have quite a few rounds. I think we're still going to... Mm. Maybe we didn't see any. One. Oh, just one. Okay, well, so two more in there. a couple in there. in there then, yep. Okay. We're about to draw into some because there's only five cards left, so two of them are poison. Okay. Food poisoning. Okay. So that is the end of the round. We've done everything over here. Oh, Buell's played this. Oh, okay. I do understand that. I've done the same in some of my solo games. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you played this, Buell. That's awesome. Oh, I awesome. did not know. Okay. Or do you just mean in general, taking it easy and, like, reading all through all the cards? Oh, yeah. Maybe you just... Oh, he probably just means... Yeah, Buell, do you have this game? Do you play this game, too? Or do you just mean general solo games? Hmm. Okay. I'm first. I don't know what to do. Did we pass the thing? Yeah, in general. Oh, just in general. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That's yeah, what yeah. I thought you meant. Yeah, you guys watch me, you understand I do that too. Mm -hmm. uh, playing solo, it's like, All what did I miss? All the reminders you can have, right? I know. <laughs> That's why I put the tokens on these leaders, so we keep well, looking at this, them. this one wasn't on there, but I thought... Well, we didn't get them yet, but... No, but I thought, I'll just put it on so yeah, I that's, remember. That's why I put this one on here to remind yeah. you too. Yeah. So when because... I look over, I'm like, oh, there's a star there. Yeah, it definitely is helpful. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, because there's lots to remember, especially playing solo, I can imagine. Trying to remember everything by yourself. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Um, Get leaders to die. Not yeah. to die, to be injured. Yeah. The comments are lagging. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. No worries. Get leaders no worries. to die or, or, or... But I don't even know how. With, like... Oh, okay. Bring that yellow leader back. Yeah, I think um, I'm... I don't know. Moving them around, getting fortifications moved out of their spaces sometimes can be a way. Because look at this guy. He's fortified uh, crazy. Well, I, he I, keeps doing it to himself. I can't even... And, and the lower guy has to die first before they can get to the, the higher guy. I, I think we're going to fail this one just because I feel like we can't get do the co-op part of it. Yeah, unless I can get a friendly guy to pull that leader forward ah then he's really weak yeah that's that may be fine whoever can but these guys them. still haven't come into the play yet they they, they are they will come after him hitting for 10 and they're, they're targeting him so they'll, they'll be there eventually we just need them to do that so i kind of don't want to interfere with that or i need to make sure it doesn't get revoked maybe yeah okay i don't know i am going to Also, these hunters will shoot on this guy if if either one of them get to go. No, they... but it keeps getting revoked by their strikes. Keep getting revoked, uh, but that's well, fine. You change that then. How many revokes have happened Both. here? Both. Both. Yeah. 
Both on this one, one on this one. Okay. Yeah, both. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. Um, I think I'm actually just going to discard and draw up. Okay. So I'm going to discard one and draw one. Food okay, poisoning. and then I'll draw two. Food poisoning and look out. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right, my turn. I can't really see that look out, so we'll put it uh, down. Let's look at... I need that guy to get out of there. Which he's guy? He's hiding in the stealth spot here. I need I him to move. I just want to peek at this. I just want to see how many of those friendly guides we've had. I know I've used two one. Well, they use an influence. Two. Two. So they use an influence. More. I'm going to look at this one here. Mm -hmm. A strike from the stars. They're back here. Okay. This guy hits this guy. It's not what I need. Do you want? I got. Uh, oh, I got them. No, I'll do another one. Change of plans. Okay. Uh, circle still have one assault. And the move. But so many cards in this deck still, so it's like digging for something is kind of like pointless. Yeah, it's hard. But those assaults eventually leave it, and then it's more manageable. Assault circles. That's what I need. That's what you need? Yeah. But I'm going to look at the other side. Make sure it doesn't get revoked. Oh, yeah, I guess. Okay, okay, so it's a regular assault coming from the circles next, and then a strike from the stars after. Uh, so that's what we'll do. So these circled units all up here are going to do some striking, but I, what I need is this guy to move out of here is the plan, so then he is able to start getting shot by whatever. Okay. And if he dies, he dies, but we need to start getting them injured. It's whoever's left on the board from the leaders needs to be injured. So yeah. if so some die, can die, that's fine. We're getting late in the campaign, I guess. We're on, on number nine out of 12. So at this point, yeah, we, we can, can have, some. maybe we can lose a few more. <laughs> it's fine. All right, so yeah. these go away. Uh, and I'll hold on to emergency care. I'll draw two mixed groups and a friendly guide. Very nice. So I need to get this leader actually into, into the fray the, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But maybe I can move him up here so he's closer to coming mm. where these guys can shoot at him. Okay. Yes, that's my plan. Okay, are we ready to... Uh, yes. Regular assault from the circle bases. We know this. Okay, surprise cover from the stars. So we don't know the speed. If you want to roll the die, we'll see what the speed is on that cover. Okay. And we got a revoked cover, so the yellows are not going to cover. Mm. Okay, so start of the round, we're going to actually revoke first, putting in the seven. Okay. Let's see the speed. Uh, ten. Ten is a fast. So we're going to have a fast cover for the red stars. Okay, so units in this group gain plus two defense this round. Okay, so uh, after they have an order, we will roll the die and we will place a fortification. Four. Circles. But I think it still goes here. I don't yep. know why we're even... I feel I like know. you only should roll the die if it's... Yeah, if there's a tie. If there's a tie, but... I don't know. Maybe we're doing it wrong. After they perf performed an order, roll the die. Yeah, Find yeah, the most... That's fine. All right. Okay. Uh, we are going to... You did this? I did this revoked, and we've done the cover. So the reds... Fast. So r the stars, so these two guys up here are extra defense? Yes. So then we have the regular assault from the circles. Let's, let's do this correctly here. They're going to move some fortifications around and stuff. Uh, so this guy's going forward, bringing a fortification. These guys not moving. Nope. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this guy moving forward, bringing a fortification. Oh, he's... All right. Yep. Now they're going to attack. Okay. Do so, any of them have speci specific targets? No. No? So then Not I that believe, I know of. I believe anyone that can reach is going to target this guard. One, two, and yep. Because uh, their direction, the front line signs this way. So they'll, yeah, they'll hit I think this. guard takes I, the I know, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So they are hitting for how much? Uh, three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve. Um, he He's has got one defense. One defense. He is done. <laughs> Okay. Motivation is, is squished. 
Okay. Ooh. We need to get that side down. Uh, and then this leaves the game. So circles have now used up all their assaults. Stars have one left. And gears. These guys, the mobile guys, still have some in there. So they'll eventually go wreck and shop over there, I'm sure. And good thing there's some fortification there because they will hit for 10. But it, it actually hits the lowest guy. Oh, no, they're Seekers. They're Seekers. So they'll they go They will go after here. that guy. Yeah. Ah, maybe some more fortifications there is not a bad idea. Be hit for 10. Takes away four, leaves six to go through. Uh, she does have a defense of one as well. Okay, so five goes through. That does make her injured. Perfect. But then these guys need to get taken out after they're done their job. Yeah. Okay, okay. that side's done. Those are done. Yes. That's done. Yep, revoked. All right, pass yep. this over. Yeah, but we yeah we need to get the blue down a little bit. I think they're too, they're too beefy right now. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna do what I said. Uh, I will generate two move points, uh, play a friendly guide, and I'll move this guy up here, uh, one space, to hang out with these guys, and start moving along that top line. And, and I could make those cog guys go a little faster. Uh, yes. I'm going to do this. Choose one of your companion units. Replace the insignia of this army's task card with a cog during this round. Place the insignia. Yeah. So whatever this comes off, it's going to be a cogs. Do you want to leave it on top of the deck? Done. So hopefully that makes these guys move, strike, attack, something. I don't know. Hopefully it's a move. I don't know. I don't know what's there. I'm not going to hold the card. Uh, I'll draw two, but I have to. Actually, I will be shuffling this back in. Oh, yeah, sorry. Because it would be discarded. Yep. That matters. You can put, if you care, you can put one of these on it. Uh, yep. Okay. And you were done, right? Uh, yeah, I just need to draw, but you can go ahead. Yeah, let me think. I'm thinking about moving here, dropping a poison. Who? Where? Here. Where? Sorry, on this guy. So on that moving. leader? Why him? You don't think those guys up there are going to do enough? I, if, I don't know. I just worry. Because they both can reach, right? These two guys both reach him and, and will fire on him. I know their sign is this way, but I still yeah, think. Yeah, they still will go. Like, yeah, I still think it hits him well, first. The, yeah, and this guy for sure. But what about this guy hunter. back here? Mr. Defensive. Maybe you want to throw some poison on him instead? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just, yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. I just worry because these birds, I feel like they're going to just overrun everybody. Uh, I don't know. They're pretty low health, squishy guys, except for the, these defenders. We need like one to die so that the uh, rest get less defense. But, yeah. But then again, they're not all adjacent to each other anymore. This guy's on his own. He gets zero defense buff. Yeah. He just has these fortifications. But I, I think these guys will eventually, like, when they start attacking now, they have guys to reach. So this guy, this bird's, like, done. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Uh, but I could be wrong with the fortifications. I don't know. Look out. Okay. Local contracts. Okay. Let's do... But remember, we need those birds to do some damage to this guy. Yeah. So I poison them and then get them up there somehow. All right. So then I will... Move. I know they, have, they have double move in their deck, right? Each each one of these bears has double move, so they should be yeah. They should be moving. But, yeah. Well, we put a move up front. That's why. Mm -hmm. So he only has one more move coming. But change of plans could change that. All right. So let's move for three. I'll move one, two. I will food poison the leader. I just need her to take two more damage. Okay. And, and, and I still have one more move. Uh, maybe I'll just stay with them. Uh, or do I... Come, no, I want to come back more. You could come back still poison this guy yeah, if you want. I want to... So I still had one more movement from that. Yeah. Uh, so let's move here. And then I'll do one... Um, no, maybe I leave him... Yeah, see so what happens. Yeah, I think he's like kind of like a sitting duck. Uh, I could also replace the insignia to be stars, so then potentially the stars will do something. You recall. 
The beefy parrots. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they are beefy. They are beefy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I probably said that. Uh, that's all I'm going to do, actually. I'll draw two cards. You don't know. Okay. Whoa. Double distraction. Okay. All right. Ready? Yep. So macaws are going to revoke a strike that would have happened with the cog bases, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay, for the reds, we're going to do an unexpected fortify. So we're going to roll until we have a group chosen. Uh, cogs. Okay, so the cogs are going to fortify. Okay, and then... Remedial strike from the stars. So just before this task, remove one damage token. Ah! Yeah, Serenity it's... now. Okay. Normal, normal. Start of the round. Okay, so we get a revoke here going down to eight. Nothing happens from the birds. Okay, so sorry. Cover's going to happen first, so they're going to fortify. Fortify. Okay. Base. Then we're going to have a strike, but before that, we're going to remove one damage from anyone with a star base. And then they're going to attack. So they are both attacking him for three and six. Mm, no, that's the yellow unit. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, three and three. Yeah, because he doesn't have the plus two. Yeah. So six. Six, so three goes away. He doesn't have any defense because he's not adjacent or on the same space as others. So he'll take three. Three damage. Out of five health. Booyah. Okay. And this doesn't go off because it's not a cover. Not a cover. Okay. Go ahead. Strike. I don't know any more of that. Okay. I don't even know what I want to happen right now. Leaders to get injured. Yeah. I can't, I can't get that leader up until we get a guide. So I think I will... Okay, let's look at... Because we don't know any more of what's coming out of this deck. So let's take a look at this. Circle move. So he'll just move up there. Uh, I'll look at one more. Cog move. He can't move. Yeah, he will. He invades. Oh, he He's invades. A charger. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's not bad. He'll attack, and we'll have plus two. Mm hmm Hmm. And it can't be revoked, because I believe two already happened here. Yep. Okay, so we're going to put the... We're going to put the cog move on top... Oh, sorry, no. The circle move, second. Cog move next. Those are done. Okay, I will draw two cards. Carrier pigeon... And encouraging words. Okay. Uh, oh, we could also pull fortifications away from that leader. Oh, eventually. I know. I, I don't know if we need to right now, but... But eventually. Because these guys are coming in, and if they hit for 10 together, maybe even more, who knows what happens, or maybe even less, but they, they will shred all this away and maybe take that guy out. And no, wouldn't they go for the leader? Oh, yeah, the leader. Sorry, yes, yeah. we know that. Yeah. But that's 10 damage, minus 4, 6 on him with a defense. That's enough. That's perfect. But then what then happens after that? To, then yeah. we need fortifications. We need to get that leader. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I don't know what to do at that point. Or we need, oh. to, get, we need to get this leader up so then they change direction and come after him. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, just very briefly, um, this guy went, so we need to put a fortification on here. Yep. We can roll the if you want. No, nope, I don't care. All right, we're good. There. Get the top card from any army's order deck. Heal. I don't feel like I need to fortify or anything yet. I'm just gonna not do anything. Yeah, I feel like a few rounds need to play out and kind of see Unless what happens. Unless I want to move near something. Yeah, I just won't do anything. I'm gonna draw two. Friendly guide, lost missive. So I can bring this leader into more harm's way. That would be fun. Okay, okay. done. Now go. Swift strike from the cogs. Come on, get up there, you lazy bums. There's way back here. Okay, red is going to do a <sighs> bold strike. So we're going to have to roll to see their uh, attack value. And we're going to do a regular move from the cogs. 
So normal, normal on this side and fast. You're going first. So we get a three, which is, which is nothing. So nothing changes on that. Okay. So I'm fast over here with a strike from these two cog guys in the back. They can't reach They any. can't reach anybody. What's their range? Two. Yeah, they can't reach anybody. Okay. Wait. Womp womp. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to do the move first. Uh, so this guy is going to move in with invading. Yep, and he's going to attack for five yep. on the unit with the most damage, who has plus one armor for this guy being adjacent. So five down to four. Uh, he has one health left, so that is definitely a kill. Down to seven. And you're at six? Yeah. Okay. So now, does he stay in the same space, or he has to move no, back, no. right? No, no, he's there. He's, he's still chilling. there? Okay. This guy will leave if, if he can go closer to this enemy. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. He'll take off, and this guy just keeps moving this way. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to do the uh, star. Oh, do we? Yes. Then the star strike. Uh, so the leader and... One of the hunter. The hunter prioritizes the leader, but I think they're both going yeah, to the Yeah, they're both going right? to hit their... Their direction is this way, but eventually it comes down hits the leader. That's fine. Okay, so their total attack is value is six between both. Six, no bonus from that card, right? Nope. So we'll remove one fortification, so that's five. And then he has a defense of one, so he Three. takes four. Okay, so he's not quite injured yet. Uh, yeah, he's 100% injured. Four out of eight is injured. Oh, oh, sorry. Yep, four out of eight is injured. <laughs> That's exactly what we want to happen. One leader injured. Three more to go. <laughs> okay. Now we need to protect him so he doesn't die. Oh, I guess he can die. It's fine. Yeah. I don't know. Unless don't know. he's going to be the one helping us injure this leader. Okay, and then... But it doesn't look like that right now with that bear there. Yeah, after the star bases go, they're going to, again, throw some fortification, which is... I need to get that guy out of there or something. Yep. But you can move those fortifications away. Yeah, that's true. Okay. This guy is supposed to have a target for this guy. Like, he's supposed to make it over there as long as this bear doesn't kill him. <laughs> yeah. But these guys need to get going. All I right. think the bear will target the guy in his so face. So, my first. turn. Uh, yeah. So, if that's the case. I'm going to uh, I'm going to generate one move with a lost missive. I'm going to play friendly guide and I move this leader uh, diagonal one, and it's not going to move anyone else because it's not from move task. And then. How many revokes have these jerks got? I believe two. One. Oh, one. just one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's 50 50 there, right? Because there's only two cards left? Yeah. It's okay, I guess. But a revoke will just tie them up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just hold what I have. Draw two. Food poisoning and local contracts. Okay. Okay, and me? Yep. Hmm. Could give someone guard. Hmm. I could give this bear guard. So then if anybody attacks, they attack him. As long as they can reach. Yeah. But those ocelots up there will still attack that leader. Unless... Okay, this guy, he goes this way. No, they'll eventually hit that leader instead. Hmm. Also drop some fortifications on that bird leader. Oh, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. To keep him. It, he can fire back, but we need this bear to be gone. Because right now he'll target the bear, but at some point him targeting up here would be nice. Yeah. Okay, but then again, so these guys are coming too, so who knows? I let's don't know. Let's do two fortification. I'm adjacent, so I can put them here. Keeping these guys alive will help us in future scenarios. But. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, let's do one more fortification. I never really thought of that. Um, I don't know what the blue is doing, right? Nope, but I know could, nothing. It could get revoked, so I don't even want to worry about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, uh, 50, so, 50 chance. Uh, no, it's not. One in, oh, oh, one in three. One, one in three, three chance, chance to revoke. Oh, whatever. Chance. No, I'll spend, I'll spend it for the fortification. Mm -hmm. And 
Do you want to draw a card at all? Whatever, sure, if you want. Yeah, you can draw a card. Let me give you one. So, friendly guide. I think you I want to bring keep. him up again? Yeah, yeah. Unless you want to use friendly guide to bring this guy into the fray. But then there's this guy. We need this guy to get over there. But this guy getting to him also helps. Mm -hmm. Up to you. Uh, I could also use it on this guy, too. Yeah, because no, you're close to that keep. one. Yeah, uh, but I will give... Hmm. Give you emergency care. Okay. Just in case. Okay. You're I more will, near. Yeah. Um, I will end my turn there. All right. You draw two. Care pigeon local contracts. All right. Let's draw a regular cover. Oh, they didn't coming from the cogs. This. That's good that I didn't do that. Okay, so the red uh, cogs are going to do a regular strike. Normal speed. And also, is this ocelot up here? And yellows are going to do a remedial move at normal. So, normal, normal, normal. Cover. Oh, move is going to go first. So, circle is going to move. I will move with him. And, oh, just before he would remove any damage, he doesn't have any. Okay. So this is done. Okay. Cover will go next. Or we'll cover. So the cogs back here sleeping uh, are going to get plus two defense. <laughs> okay. And then the red cog up here is going to strike. I think this he leader. only has that yep. target. Uh, and he's the hunter. Anyways, he hits for three. So we'll just remove three defense. Three fortifications. Three fortifications. Sorry. Boo. And it's a good thing you put them there. Yes. That is all. Uh, so you're first. Uh, I think I need to do that again. So let's drop two fortification here. And let's do one more. Uh, right. I could do one more, but I think I'll hold this one. So I'll stop there and I'll draw two cards. Your pigeon. Okay. All right. Okay. I will mm. Mm. Kind of still target that leader, not this one. So annoying. Okay, I am going to friendly guide that guy again. So friendly guide. Uh, and I will spend this for, t no, food poisoning. Hmm. Yeah, I'll spend food poisoning for two move. I'll go here, bring him along. Uh, and I'm going to peek here. Closing. All right, I'm going to leave closing there. And in my turn, draw two. Okay, you ready? Yep. Uh, move with that guy. Okay, that's kind of good. So just before it's going to move forward one space, move with the stars. Oh, so this guy is good. Up. He'll get to move a couple. That's great. And then... He'll move up one. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so the red uh, cogs are going to have a reckless cover at normal speed. And yellows are going to do a regular change of plans. So I will just shuffle these up quickly to see what's going to happen. Yeah, we'll get some star moves in there so this guy can get into the play. But this guy might help smash him a bit. So I have a normal move over here. Normal cover and normal something. Normal move for the cogs. So he'll just move straight. Okay. It's closer to this guy, right? Yep, yep. How about this guy also moves, but he's a seeker, or mobile, sorry, mobile. Mm -hmm. so let's go with this guy. So he goes up there, and then this guy will move, but there's no one adjacent for this guy to bring along. I'll go with, though. Okay. And But that was just before the task, actually. They move forward one space. So then actually this guy goes another space. Oh, he's right up in their face. And that guy 
just goes the two. Where was he here? Yep. So he goes before he moves one and you then one moves another. Yep. Okay, so now he's target, which is good. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, and oh, this guy will move this guy forward with, right? Because this is the leader that does the whole on a move task, bring units adjacent one space. Got it? Mm hmm. Hear a message, anyone? Not here. Yeah. Not here either. No. Yeah, nothing. All looks good for here. Nothing bad here. Oh. I saw that, though. Oh, come on. YouTube will do YouTube things. Ha yeah. It's back after like 20 seconds. Yeah, I see it spinning on our end, too, on my preview. Okay, should be okay. <laughs> okay. So we've done the moves, right? Everybody moved? Or do you have to move more? No, uh, they move forward. So this guy was here. Yep. He moves forward before because of closing, right? Mm -hmm. And then moves and brings this guy out of this space because they move along, right? Yep, okay. And then this guy down here was here, moved forward one space, and then did a mobile move to move twice. And his target is this guy. Okay. And this guy doesn't bring a fortification, right? Does he? Uh, no, because it's hold not on. a... When he moves according to their order. Okay. So it wasn't no. his order. Yeah. His when goal. his group moves toward, because of an order. Okay. So that's so these good. all stay here. Okay. Well, that's not good, but... Well, yeah, it's not good. You're I might right. use that card oh, to pull, pull for yeah. him to protect somebody. Because this guy's going to take extra damage because he's on a, a spot with uh, Shatter. Yeah. Okay, so okay, that's a normal so move done from these guys. And that was a normal move here. So we're going to have a normal cover from the uh, red cogs. Nothing really Doesn't happens there. Do anything. Okay. All right. Okay, here you go. Uh huh. We know it's going to um, revoke. Yep. Is there a way to not make it revoke? I think it's fine to revoke. It's fine to revoke, but I, I just, they're in prime positions. I, I want them to do things. Like, I want mm. this guy to attack. I don't want him to get taken out first. Uh, that's why I worry, but maybe he doesn't have an attack. Maybe I can just let it revoke something different. So, I will check the bottom card of this one. A move from the circles. That is okay if that gets revoked. I think. Yes. Yes. I'm okay if that gets revoked. So I will put that on the top from the bottom. Okay. Here my companion still. Yep. Okay. Uh, I will stay there and hold. Hold on. They're going to get hit on this guy. Most they could hit for is six on him. I have emergency care. A fortification drop possibly. I'll stay where I am. Hold what I got. Draw two. Friendly guide and lookout. Your turn. Okay, well, I think then what I want to do is spend three movement points. If I do one, oh, I only need to Hold spend on. two. Before you do anything, what are you trying to do? I was thinking about going here and then moving the fortifications. Because now you have four and four. You could. I have a friendly guide, but I also could use that friendly guide to maybe, I don't know what I would use it for. Somebody I could pull out of there. The red I can rupture. I don't know them. that we need to worry about that right now. If we well, pull it, the you can might be able to pull this guy out of those fortifications instead. I could just pull the fortifications away. Yeah. Okay. If you want to use that, because sure. then we'll both be in position where we can pull fortifications away. Ah, yes, true. Okay. Yeah. So we can do that. if I do that, okay. So I only need to spend two moves. So I'll do that, and I'll do one, two, because now if we do this, each adventurer may move up to four fortifications from spaces adjacent to them to the space they are on. Do you want to do that or you want to take it away from the red group? Oh, okay, you can do two and two. Okay, I'm going to do two, three, I think. No, maybe not so He's going to hit for five. I'll block one. I don't know, I'll sure, whatever. Four. I'm going to leave one. Mm, no, I'm not. Uh, move this one back. Okay. Good? 
I think so. Okay, and then I can choose up to two, or I can choose a space and add two fortifications to that space if there's anywhere that we think needs to be fortified. Only keeping guys alive that may. I'm thinking just this guy. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't could think that, that he's going to be the target for anyone no. at this moment. Maybe this guy to keep him alive so he actually does some damage to this space and doesn't get taken out first. Yeah, because if they both attack, they'd attack for six. Yeah, and he's four health and only has one fortification. He's, okay, he's so done. Then, oh, sorry, this didn't go. Unless there. he covers. Goes right there. Okay, so let's place two fortifications on this space here. Okay. Then that is me. So it's like I could also move in there and do an attack on him, and that would be yeah, devastating because he would hit for five and kill him in one shot. Okay. So I will. I can add one more fortification to that spot just in case. You can. Let me draw a card and I give you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we should dig. I don't know. Okay, let's dig. I'll let you draw a card when you decide. Mixed groups. Yeah, you can have that. If you want to draw a fortification, yep. that you can. Yep. And then I'll draw two cards. Next groups and we'll go. Okay. Here we go. Whoa, revoked move from the circles. <laughs> okay, so we have an unexpected strike from the red cogs. So we're going to have to re-roll or roll the die until we find a... Okay, and then we're going to do a piercing move from the circles on the yellow side. So we're going to roll a die for this and find out who's actually going to strike. Circles. There is no circles. So we're going to roll again for red. Circles. Cogs, so it doesn't change anything. Okay, so these guys are revoking, going down to six. Okay, uh, normal move for the circles. So he is going to move in here, he's going to invade. He's going to attack for five and wipe that bird off e the map. Correct. He has no extra defense bump from anyone adjacent to him, so he is gone. And we dropped down to five. Okay, uh, that's the only circle, yep. And then the red cog is going to strike. He is the hunter. He only hits for three. And he's going after this leader right here in front of him, so he'll just take away. But he'll actually do a damage of four. four yeah, so take these away and hits for one. Does the leader not have any damage or defense that way? Uh, oh, I don't know. One. one yes, yeah. so nothing. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's every. Uh, circles, cog. Yeah, that's good on this side. Okay. So we have a red leader that needs to get injured. We have a blue leader that needs to get injured, and a yellow leader that still needs to get injured. So we're still where we were like an hour ago. Wow. <laughs> and they're slowly dropping down to retreating time. Five on this side, six on that and side. And we're gonna shuffle both these decks. Yep. So. We're gonna see some revoke soon, and they're not gonna do the hits they need to do. So we need to start making some of these hits happen. All right. I'm just gonna get into position to be in with a group so I, I should probably be with the bears yeah uh yeah i'll go right in here for one movement and i will save this card and i will draw two the problem is these bears do the healing and the covering and the I extra know. defense it's annoying i told you this gonna this be the worst i'm gonna just start shuffling these while you take your yep. turn so that we're ready all but. right uh so let's go with All right, Mr. Red Ocelot Leader hiding up there. Uh, I'm going to spend up. two move and do a friendly guide. And I'm going to go get you and bring you out here. Uh, I'll bring you here. Nice and exposed, sucker. And you can no more hiding up there. And now you're in the water where you're weaker and closer to these guys. Not close enough, though. And I will hold my cards and draw two. False order and encouraging words. Oh, so I could give him guard, let's say, and make sure. <laughs> hey, guys, hit this guy over here. Okay, All right. done. Ready? I don't know what's happening anymore. Uh, closing assault from the star bases, uh, which is this guy. So he'll move forward, but he doesn't move. And this guy moves forward, but he but doesn't move. he doesn't move because there's no one closer. Yep, and then they'll do some attacking. 
Okay, so for the red, we're going to do a surprise change of plans. So I will shuffle this quickly if you <laughs> want to do this. Hey, here, sir. Let me walk you to the river where you're more exposed to all kinds of danger. <laughs> that uh, is true. So what's this? You're giving me a revoked cover from the stars. Okay. Uh, on the bears. So we're so going to drop them to five we'll also. Happen right now. Okay, and let's see what's happening. Sorry for the... Well, that's good. So they're not covering. These guys aren't covering, and this guy's going to fire on them. Perfect. A four to five for the red cogs, but it's a surprise, so we don't know how fast it's going. One, it's going very, very slow. Okay. Okay, slow. so this has already happened. Yours is next. Okay, so we got a closing. So we're going to twice move up, so that closing. Before the move of the stars, this guy doesn't move. This guy doesn't need to move. Mm -hmm. So they no move. Oh. Just before this task, move each unit of the screw forward one space. Yes, he will move forward, but then the move party doesn't do. Then we go back to this just before the assault. Uh, they will move forward one space. He can't, he wouldn't move farther. Are you sure? Even with the closing? Yeah, but he's not moving closer to anybody. He's moving farther away from units now. Well, no, no, no. But this part. Just before this task, move each unit in this group forward one space. I feel like closing is not the same as them moving from a task. Or is the movement in general always? I think always? it's movement in general. Let's find out. Let's find out. Move. See army face. Pages six to eight. Then we've been messing up. All right. Uh, move. Units move on the game board. All units in active groups attempt to move. Rules for movement are listed below. A unit tries to move one space in the direction of its frontline sign. If a movement would result... No, but this is this stuff. This is move here. Okay. Uh, how do we find the ploy card closing? Is that in here? Ploy cards, are they in here? Mm. Ploy, see order, task, see order, 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 15. Let's see what happens in there. I mean, we may need to look in the campaign book. Uh, whoa. Closing, anything, planning, order, choose the next order. Rank. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I might be right. Yeah, because it doesn't move closer to anybody. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I don't know if the ploy cards... Where's ploy cards? Are they just in here at the beginning, maybe? Those were... Uh, unit cards, order cards, ploy card forms the left half. Mm. Yeah, we could just go with the movement that they don't move away from the guy. Yeah, I wouldn't think uh, that I'm not going to spend too much time digging for it, but yeah, it's just weird. But I guess it says movement in general, but it's also under the part where it's talking about these moves, like this literal like move on these, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but this is not that. Move each unit forward one space. Mm, yeah, I don't know, we'll just follow that rule then. Sure, okay. yeah, it probably makes sense, but yeah, because if they got way out of distance. Because then they wouldn't be able to reach anybody, they wouldn't be able to move back into, you'd have to pull them Would back Would they not into. move back though? Yeah, I guess not, because they're not targeting there, they're just targeting like this way. Yeah. They don't have additional targets. Yeah, right. that's, that makes yeah. sense, that makes sense. Yeah, I probably was assuming being dumb. Being dumb. Okay. Uh, so that was the move before the strike. Okay, so now strike time. This guy. Going to hit this guy for three. And he is a hunter. He is a hunter. He has five and no defense. And I took away a fortification. So he is going to take three hits out of five. Okay. That's fine. All right, he's done. Now this guy, he's hitting for five. I'm targeting the leader here. Oh, is that a guard guy in it? Nope. Okay, good. Perfect. Yep, so he's going to hit the leader. The leader has one defense. So three gets through. He's now officially injured. 
Hopefully he doesn't heal his space and all that crap, or she doesn't heal. So we have an injured. We have an injured. We have exposed and exposed, <laughs> but we need them to get hit. So two out of two, or two out of four, I mean. Okay. Uh, everything done? Uh, What's this one, the fortification drop? Yep, this is slow. So that's going to happen now. So now that... Oh, this leaves the deck also. This guy is going to fortify his space. Oopsies. So now the stars and the circles will no longer do assaults. It's only the cogs that are sleeping back here. They feel like they've done nothing the whole time. I know. It's just the way the, the change of plans come and stuff. Okay. So that got revoked and... Okay. Dropped fortification. Okay. That is me. It's everything. Full of space invaders and bounce back. Yeah, like Pac-Man. They go out one side and come back the other. <laughs> okay. Um, that's it. There you go. All right. How can I make these guys do some business? I feel like these bears could be trouble. Maybe not. Yeah, I need those birds to do a strike. At least one of them. Mm. Are you with the blue? Nope. Nope, you're with, with the, the red. red. The red's in a perfect spot. So what I'm going to do is run three spaces. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm going to mess with the birds. I'll give you some if you need. If you start digging. Yeah, I'm going to see one on the task. Oh, the cogs are finally assaulting. Finally, That's just what eh? I need. Okay. So I need to look at the other side and make sure it's not a revoke. It's evasive. So they'll do what I need them to do. Hold on. They, they move forward two spaces, and then they move back one, which is still fine. And then they attack and then move back one, which... Is so okay, annoying. here, I'll give you one and you can look at one more and no, see. No, but I think that's okay. Because they still do the attack I need them to do. And then they move back and okay. that's good. I, I need to move back, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. I'll leave it where, where it is. Uh, the only thing we don't... Will they kill him? 10 plus 1 damage, that's 11. Yeah, they would. They will? Yeah, they would wipe him right off the board. At okay. this point, though, uh, one, two, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Can we fortify him? Maybe move him into a one, two, three. Um, I could put one fortification. Yeah, I shouldn't have moved him out. I knew that would that would come back to bite me. I just thought these guys would eventually, like one of them might die. They might still die by these guys attacking them. But if he dies, he dies. Yeah, one is fine to die, and then if that's he dies, one that's fine. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Because I don't think this guy's gonna die, but. I'm At this point, I just want to win our co-op thing, and, yeah. and these guys' lives don't matter. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna just let leaders leaders die if they need to. Yeah. But okay, that's it for you. Did you draw? No. I'll keep the emergency care, lost missive, and natural materials. Okay. Then I'm just gonna spend all three of these, and I'm. Daniel Richardson, thank you so much for the support. If you're watching. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are awesome. <laughs> Thanks for becoming a Patreon. If you're watching, link your Discord to your Patreon account and join us in the Discord. And hey, Holt66 just subscribed. Thank you so much. How wow. Come, how come I have a feeling like maybe alerts weren't working for a while and now they're all just kicking in? <laughs> but Daniel, thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, go ahead. Do whatever you okay. do. I'm going to check. You're lucky I'm not in quote mode. Oh, did you say something silly? Yes, I know. I said, yeah, I said the leaders' lives don't matter. Oh. But, like, now it's, like, not something. Yeah, we sh I shouldn't be saying that. Oh, look at that. Oh, Google's got a temporary error. I've never seen that before. Okay, well, while you're looking Woo. at that, I am just going to spend all three of my fortifications, and I am going to fortify this space so this leader doesn't die as well. <laughs> Mm, but remember he might heal himself but yeah i guess that does keep him like that that macaw does still hit for five yeah but, so it and still this puts coming, a little bit yeah, but... we'll see we'll see okay mm -hmm. that is me i will draw two cards <clears throat> okay ready yes let's see what i get face of assault we know this for the cogs yep so we're going to do a bold cover, and we are going to get a remedial move for the stars. Oh, they're not even going to move anyways. Let's what? see what they're doing. Oh, they're going to heal This one? is the problem. They're removing the damage thing. This is what, exactly. Ah! Okay, okay. So he's no longer injured. Okay. Son of a... Oh, so, normal... These bears are so annoying. I know, I know. Normal, normal. 
Normal. And what's this? Extra attack possibly or less attack? Yeah, but attack? they're not even attacking anyways. Oh, okay. They would have uh, got plus two, but they're covering, so. Okay, so you're... Uh, oh, this move could happen first. Actually, they're not even going to... Oh, this boot bear will move. Yeah, we used the fortification uh, pulling power already. Yes, we did. Which wasn't maybe the best time, but it was fine. I don't know. Okay, so, <laughs> the, so the moves are going to happen first. So this is a normal move. And you this have... is a normal move. He's just going to come in here. Okay. And he's going to attack this guy for five. Uh, so it takes away these four and does one damage to him, right? Yeah, I'm going to put on the side just so that yeah. we can... Okay, and then you can do all the other stuff over there because oh, yeah. that is this done. They're all done? Well, okay. they're going to cover, but... So immediately after this task, let me screw it back. So move forward with the cogs. So they are definitely seeking this guy. Definitely. So uh, I hopefully move these guys right. One, two for this guy. Mm -hmm. This guy, I think he goes here because... No, he goes here because of... No, where's his target? His target's here. Yeah, he's still moving straight. Moving straight? Yep. And then here. And then move again. Still here? Yep. Okay. And then they move back one because they're being evasive. They're like, ha ha, tricked ya. Did you want to move uh, at all? Yes. I just want to wait till they're done dancing around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then they'll both strike. So their target's this guy, so they both attack him, right? Yep. And they're hitting for 10. It's actually 11 because of the plus one here. Okay. And pew. He has one block, but... 10 gets eight, through. Yeah, eight damage kills him. See ya, buddy. Leader down. So we're going to lose one motivation for that. Down to four. And now this leader cannot die or this will go down to zero. Yep. Oh, sorry. He would have healed. I didn't do that when yeah, I did that. I yeah. apologize. So he's no longer injured. Yeah. Uh, that sucks. Okay. So then they evade back after that strike. I'll stick with. Do I care now? No, I will not. I'll stay here, and this guy will evade back too. Okay. So they go right back to where they started, but they came in and did what they needed to do. <laughs> yeah. And I'm okay with that. Now okay. we need these. One of these guys, like, I mean, it's gonna take two turns of these guys hitting that guy. Oh no, he's plus one damage. That's actually yeah, perfect. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, and then this guy is going to cover, but there's nothing. So. And now the cog's assault is gone. So only one cog assault left. Uh, uh, that's only assault left in the deck. Sweet. Okay. Your turn. My turn. See, you, sir. I told you'd be all right. <laughs> hmm. Where'd these assassins come from? All right. All right. Um. Basically, any random ocelot leader that rolls a die and, and tries to be cute, we just let them die. We're okay with that. Yeah. I'm going to put two fortification here. Oh, no, I can't. I need to... Oh, no, we need he that hits for take... five, right? Yep. So three goes away. He has a defense. One gets through. So that's perfect. That's what perfect. we need. Okay. So we're not going to do, do that. Don't do that. So I'm going to do... But you might do... need to keep that bird alive so he can do such things. <laughs> <laughs> so when you fortify okay, so the bird. Okay, so fortify the bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll do the same. Two fortify the, the that spot. Yeah. And then I can fortify again for two. Yeah. Because then if he hits him. Yeah, yeah. Then hopefully that good. bird doesn't go down, but we'll see. Okay, we'll see. That's me. I'll draw two cards. <sighs> One card, and you can shuffle to get your next card. Yep. Okay, so I need stars to attack. Is that even possible right now? Uh, they have one strike in here. They have one strike in the deck. The deck still has a few cards left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. And these guys are going to soon get their revokes down to nothing. Yeah, because there's four here. Uh, so we got to be careful. I might have to dig. Uh, Okay, and my second card is mixed groups, so I'll give that back to you. So this guy's target, if he's shooting this way, he'll hit this guy, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. I need them not to, they won't move. He won't move. Mm -hmm. I just need one of those guys to attack. So if that's the case. I'll give you, um, if you oh, want to dig. I can dig. fortify somebody. Uh, sure. I'll give you. Oh, I see. Like you have to move to the reds though first. So I if you know, want but I, I don't think I can get all the way over there. That's uh, three two, move, three. and then I can start one look. Yeah, then I can give it to if you need. Yeah, 
That's where them revoking. I don't want them to revoke. Mm -hmm. Well, I will place two fortifications on this bird's spot here. Okay. okay. And then I will... Uh, I'll just move three and get up to here with this red unit and draw two and I get two lookouts giving stealth out. <laughs> Lots of movement on there. Uh, revoked fortify on the circle basis for the birds. There is okay. still one on, two on the board. Yep. And then we have a reckless strike for the so stars. Someone's taking double damage possibly. So, oh, that's okay. Is that okay or is that bad? Oh, oh that's okay. dealing double damage. Ooh. That's okay because if we kill that guy too, oh, that might be so okay. Bad. Okay. No, it's so bad. And then on the <laughs> yellow side, we're Another revoking. bird leader down. Oh, two leaders done. Oh, okay. I think so, so we have two revokes happening. So yellow yeah. is going to go down on this one. So we're at three. Four. And four over here. Okay. And then if that bird dies. Yeah, that's down to three. We just need another revoke and a revoke and we might be able to Or win. a red or yellow to die. Or a red or yellow to die. Okay. So then the only thing that's going to happen is a reckless strike by the one star unit. So he's targeting this guy. Yeah, he's going to deal double, double damage. damage. He targets uh, or hits for three, so six total. And plus, plus one. one. So seven. Oh, he's still alive. Because he has a de defense, And no? a defense, so he only takes six. So he has two, uh, two health left. That's perfect. Okay, good. We just now need to... But some other bird needs to die. No, like this. why? Because, what? because there's... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It won't be, <laughs> won't be this one. No, it's got to be this guy. This half dead bird that's like hanging. None of these guys have that whole injure that's thing, right? Lowering no. motivation at all. No. But these guys still, we could dig for the revoke. Yeah, I think you dig for the revoke. Um, but I think we also have die. to kill this bird. So this guy needs to move in here and kill that bird. Yeah. So I'll make that happen. <laughs> okay. You're with the bears. You need to make make a move happen for the stars. Is that possible? Um. Uh. Yes. There's yes, one move yes. left, but. Or change of plans. Yeah, but then it's like who knows where it goes after that. Tis but a flesh wound. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then that is everybody. It's you. <laughs> Are you going to start digging for revokes? Uh, yeah. But I am with the reds. So they've done what they need to do. Yeah. So as long as we can end it, we're good. So I need to go run over to that blue leader maybe. Where oh. are you? Oh, right there. Yeah. Yeah, I will move to that blue leader. And I will give him stealth, I think. Okay. Try to keep him alive? Maybe? I don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can only play one card. I don't want to waste all our cards. I, I really want you to... I'll look through to try to pull it up if I can. Somehow kill... I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I'll just stay there with the whole stealth thing activated. Draw two. I'll draw two. Distraction for some range nerfing and making the star bases go. Okay. Well, I'm going to use one to look at the, um, their the task bears, deck. Task bears task deck. deck. We got a star cover. I don't want that. And that's the one that gives, gives extra, extra defense all around. Yeah. So we got one more. A star strike. So, so that is here strike. striking here and this guy striking here. So that would probably... That would be six. That would be six. One, two. He's got six. So we still need this leader to get injured one more. He wouldn't even actually die because he would just lose all I know, the fortification. I, know. Yeah, yeah. I can't look at any more, so I think I'm going to just have to yeah. take that. Unless I give. Unless yeah, I can give you one. Give me one more. Change of plans. It shifted it. Okay, well, at least now we have two chances. Ah. Okay, star covers. One more. Circle move. There's, that guy. Oh. No, we don't want him to move. Doesn't matter. If okay, I'm... so let's do let's do the strike first then and see what happens. Okay. So star strike. 
We'll leave circle move last. We don't care about that. Uh, actually, I don't want them covering and covering. So let's put the move in, in the middle. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and that's, that's that. I'll draw two. Good. Okay, yep. Uh, revoke, oh, change of plans. That's kind of perfect. Okay. So we have an unexpected strike from the stars. Could be someone else. And we have a regular strike from the bears. So I'm going to roll for the unexpected strike and see who's going to strike. Cogs. So this guy's going to strike instead. Oh, that's terrible. That will take this guy out. I was hoping that I the know. stealth would have protected yeah, him. Yeah, that's what I was hoping that the other guy would. Oh, it's unexpected. That's annoying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what gets revoked. Uh, strike by the circles gets revoked. Okay, so revoke will happen first. Down to three. Uh, then both these strikes are going to happen at the same time. So the red strike is going to be different than the yellow. So we can just do it separate. Yeah, he's oh. toast. And then so he'll go over here. Another leader down. They're ready to withdraw. Okay, so I assume both of these guys are going to target this guy. Uh, or does he target the guy in his space, or does he target outside of his space? No, he's the he's closest a, yeah, guy. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so both of them are going to hit for six. So that will just remove all the fortifications from this space, and he takes no damage. Okay. Okay, so done, done. Um, oh, he's gone. That leader is gone, and this leader, we didn't have a cover. Okay. So this leader is gone. The one that moves people around. Dead, yeah, right? go so, ahead, get lost. Okay, <laughs> right, I guess I don't need that on there. Okay, so I think that's it. Me. All right, so you're already in two, right? So we need to find just a revoke and we're good? No, we need this guy to get one, oh, more, one damage, more damage one or more else damage. we lose anyway. Okay, so... That's that guy healing is like the worst thing ever. So we don't want to revoke then. Exactly, okay, or else so it's then, over. We want this guy to get hit by this guy. Okay, so I'm going to just start looking through here and hope that... Okay, so we got a regular, and I'll just do one more so that we know. While I'm here, and a sturdy. Okay, so let's do sturdy second and regular on top. And that's me, I'll draw two. Okay, there you go. And you don't have any cards, I'm going to draw right? two because oh. I have nothing for my turn. Okay. Here we go. Uh, evasive cover by the star birds, including this guy up here. Okay, and then we have for the red a, a reckless strike. From which so guy? They're gonna, for the cog, he's going to deal, deal double damage. Oh, no. Yeah, that bird leader's going to die, and then we're done. Oh, no. Oh, no. And then we have a regular cover for the star, uh, star base on the bears. Yeah, we bomb. No, no, no. Okay, okay so uh, normal. I got normal cover. Uh, okay, so normal cover as well. Okay, so the star, this guy here, extra defense. Okay, these guys, extra defense. Uh, oh, yeah, and then the red guys have extra defense from this. <laughs> yeah, every, every red and yellow yeah. has plus two defense. These guys have plus four. Yeah. Okay, now the strike from the cogs yeah. obviously reaches this guy. And he's going to do double damage, so he's going to do damage of six. So five gets through. He already has four. That's it's a total nine. of nine. That kills this leader. <gasps> And that drops this side down to zero. Oh, that's like the first official loss. Yep. We fully lost. Oh, that hurts a bit. Yeah. Wow, okay. I really thought we might have had that. No, I did not think so. Well, I, I didn't think so. At I the never thought we'd injure this bear guy. And I was right. We could never get him fully oh. there or her there. Man. Yeah, I just knew. When we ran it all the way over here and then trying to get it back in the fight and... And then that, this guy was throwing fortifications on him and stuff on her. Well, we never could have known that once we brought it I know, to the bridge, but that's, that's what these events do. Yeah, we shouldn't have tried to run that leader off. We got tricked. We did. We were tricked. We were tricked. And then she couldn't get back into it. You're yeah, right. I know. Yeah. Oh, I know. Dang it. So where was this? Uh, okay. So the, what is this? This is a uh, Ocelots and Speckled Bears 1. Because they fully destroyed this side. Yep. Killed two leaders. Yep. Oh, my God. So you're going to need to write some leader names down, by the way. <laughs> okay, pass me another one. Oh, wow. We're going to have nobody to come back from this. Okay. 
Uh, the macaws had made a terrible mistake by underestimating the bear's strength. One by one, they fell to the bear's counterattacks, while the ocelots rained constant arrow fire on them. Had the macaws fought an enemy with maneuvers similar to theirs, they would have crushed them. Instead, they were fighting an enemy they couldn't keep up with. The raging bears hammered through their shield rows, cutting formations in half. The macaws had lost their advantage. Eventually, the battle came to a point where the macaws had practically no chance of winning, and their leaders noticed it too late. Their shield formations were intended to move forward and didn't offer much flexibility in the case of sudden retreat. It simply wasn't a scenario they had prepared for. Their precise and efficient style of combat couldn't withstand the bears' brutal strikes and most of the macaw forces were destroyed. After the battle, the bears and ocelots didn't waste time by celebrating their victory, but instead started to plan their next move. The adventurers feared that it could be a counterattack, in which case they would have to start making plans of their own fast. The Speckled Bear's army overran the score that Macaw assault with the help of the Ocelots. You failed to fulfill your task. Learn from your experience and try your best next time. If Commander Chaliana and Commander Kirachaku weren't already defeated during this or any previous scenario, write their names on the command log designated space for defeated leaders. Will do. Draw the outcome cards marked on your agenda cards and read individual the relevant parts on them mark your progress on the campaign log so outcome nine. of nine and we didn't do what we need because at the game end there's still one on the board that's not injured yep and we just could and we didn't win anyways oh yeah true <laughs> so we got doubt the bottom is a penalty all factions try to prevent their fit plans from falling into enemy hands whether they consider you one you're not sure the first time any ploy deck has exactly four cards left it must immediately be shuffled together with his respective discard pile any drawn cards in hand uh, keep any drawn cards in hand while doing this so this could maybe oh, make so revokes not happen yeah stuff, that could happen oh yeah. okay so this is gonna happen yeah, going forward gone. this is gone and that's for next time and that's it don't flip pages till you're gonna play the 10th scenario Yep, Boom. Same. Winning all the time is kind of boring. Ah, Agreed. that's true. But, but not, no, no. Winning easily is boring. But in this game, it uh, feels a lot of the times we didn't win easy. It was like a struggle the whole time. It was stressful. Or it came down to a, a yeah. luck. Uh, yeah, the last. Well, it's decisions you make along the way that got you to that point where the luck helped, right? True. But uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's okay to lose. But that was like a crazy loss. Like. That one was a hard mission, for yeah, sure. Yeah, that wasn't like our close victories. That was like a full loss. Like, we struggled to get the injury thing happen. We let leaders die. And that's why I get scared when you have to injure leaders as an objective. Yeah. It's like, how do you make it so they just don't get wiped off the board? Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's it for Scenario 10. No, not Scenario 10. Nine. Scenario 9. Scenario 10 will be tomorrow evening, already scheduled. Hit up YouTube.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. Set the reminder, if you're watching this recently after it was aired, or you're watching this live, uh, and then we're going to have the last two. What the heck is that? Oh, man. Oh. Daniel, thank you so much. What? Cheers from Meeple Monkey. Oh, that's oh. Daniel. Ah, thank Daniel you so is much. Meeple Monkey. I should know this. Yes. You know this? Ah, I forgot. That's my favorite gift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so thank you. Daniel, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I needed to message him that's, with something after. That's funny. Uh, why did so he's a Patreon this? now. Yes. But he's also donated. Oh, that was separate? Through, yeah, that that was to do it during the stream. There's like a one-time donation link. Oh. Uh, if you don't want to do uh, Patreon, because people asked, some people didn't want to do Patreon. Yeah. So just to do one-off donations, I put like a link down there that like, uh, if you're doing it during a stream, it'll pop up a notification. If you're not, it just, it, it still goes through, but uh, yeah. So that's so nice. Thank people you so Monkey, much. When you're watching this later after you've played Scenario <laughs> 9, uh, thank you so much. Uh, but I'll, I'll hopefully he's in Patreon uh, or in uh, the Discord and I can message him there. But that's mm -hmm. awesome. So he's obviously having fun with the game. <laughs> that was uh, funny that another no, gift just... came before that. Yeah, I don't know that what was, that, what was that was. A glitch of some kind. <laughs> or okay. that was his message. Maybe he added that. Oh, when he to made, the... Yeah, yes, the donation yes. made a custom uh, GIF or whatever. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that was cool. It was a good day. Yeah, good day, mate. It yeah. was the dumber, the dumber, dumber, dumber. That's awesome. That was awesome. That was wow. awesome. Wow, thank you so oh, much. What a good day. So, yeah. Tomorrow, Too Many Bones, solo, continuing that series. This series continues tomorrow evening again. Same thing like today. 
And then the rest of the series will continue next week after our 24 hour live stream, which is this Saturday. You can add a message, yes. Oh, ah, okay, okay. that's okay. what I thought. Yeah, and I think you can pick gifts and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I didn't understand what was happening. I know, I was like, I, was like, I thought something. Glitch? <laughs> I didn't put that gif in there. What's going on? <laughs> Something's broken. <laughs> that's that's wicked. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, so we're going to wrap right. it up here, I guess. Thank you to our patrons for supporting us. Daniel, you're awesome. Everyone else in chat, you guys are awesome for hanging out with us live. Yes, if you're watching you. this later, feel free to leave comments down below. Ask questions. Uh, say nice things. Say bad things. Point <laughs> out rules, mistakes we made. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, we appreciate it. If you like these videos, hit that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next live stream. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.